Uh, Minister, as you well know, since the beginning of 2014, motor insurance premiums uh, have gone up in cost by 60%. In the last 12 months alone, uh, the increase has been a third. 34% increase in motor insurance premiums uh, in the last 12 months alone, according to the CSO monthly statistics. The present situation and the direction that it is going is completely unsustainable and action is needed now uh, to address this issue and deal with spiralling motor insurance costs. Uh, the round of motor insurance premium increases that we are witnessing uh, are having a particularly hard effect on younger drivers, older drivers and people driving older vehicles, but no one is immune from the effects of it. And since we uh, publicised this motion over the last number of days, we have been inundated as public representatives uh, with constituents telling us their own stories. And increases in the last year uh, of the order of €200 Euro seem typical uh, from the feedback that I'm getting uh, from constituents. Increases of over €300 Euro are not uncommon. Uh, and in some cases, increases of far greater than that are actually happening uh, in the marketplace at the moment. Now, we have a situation presently where the insurance industry is defending its own position. It is defending its members. We have the legal profession defending their members and defending their interests. We have the central bank who seem to be preoccupied with the underlying financial health of the insurance industry and insurance companies, and that's an important issue that cannot be ignored. The Injuries Board are defending their position and are saying they're doing a good job. But I have to ask the question, who is looking after the consumers? Who is looking after the motorist who is getting uh, the motor insurance renewal in the door and is seeing an increase of several hundred euro. And it's not just an issue for the private motorist, it's an issue for the business community as well. Not just hauliers, whose core business is transport, uh, but many other businesses throughout this country uh, for whom transportation is a key cost and motor insurance premiums uh, are a key uh, input cost. So this issue is a very important economic issue for the country, as well as being a vital issue for the individual uh, affected by the level of increases that we're currently seeing. The thrust of our motion uh, look, is to call for the establishment of a task force, a task force along the lines of uh, the Motor Insurance Advisory Board, uh, which operated very successfully for a number of years uh, from when it was established in the late 1990s. At that time, motor insurance premiums were increasing rapidly as well. They're now increasing uh, at an even faster rate. And what we really need is to get a handle on the data here. The insurance industry will tell you that the main reason why insurance premiums are going up uh, in the motor industry area uh, is because of the number of claims and the cost of claims. But we can't validate that because at least three quarters of all motor related insurance claims do not go through the injuries board and do not go through the courts in terms of being finally settled uh, at the Injuries Board or by way of a court award. So the vast majority of claims are actually settled in private by insurance companies with individual claimants. And while the industry and individual companies, of course, issue aggregate reports uh, to the central bank, we don't have a national claims register. And this country is now crying out for a national claims register uh, whereby uh, all of the, the data in relation to uh, claims uh, being settled uh, is properly recorded. And then lessons can be drawn from the analysis of that data. And that is what is really lacking at this point in time, Minister. And it is really startling to think that somewhere of the order of three quarters to 80% of, of claims, uh, there is no public record of them uh, in the sense that can be assessed and analysed and policy lessons drawn. Now, you know, I, I gather today from talking to journalists that the government are not going to oppose uh, the motion tomorrow, and I welcome that. But more important than that, Minister, is the need to act on what this motion says. It isn't acceptable for the government to not call a vote on a motion and then ignore its contents.
If the government is supportive of this motion, then you are going to have to implement what the motion says. And I have been consistently raising this issue, along with my colleagues, uh, with Minister Noonan uh, and the government generally, uh, over the last number of months and going back well into last year. And Minister Noonan will, will vouch for that. And his response has been to set up a Department of Finance-led review. It's an, initi an initiative, but in my view, it isn't an adequate initiative, and it's not an adequate response to the scale of the problem that motorists are facing at the present time by way of increases in motor insurance premiums. So we want to see a new task force set up, which will listen to the industry, yes, which will listen to the central bank, which will involve a number of government departments, transport, enterprise, finance, which will give the Road Safety Authority uh, a voice as well, as well as the Gardaí and the Injuries Board. But, but most importantly, we'll listen to the end consumer, we'll listen to the motorist, we'll listen to um, families who are no longer able to fund uh, the cost of motor insurance for uh, a young person, for example, in the family. And in the last couple of days, you know, I have got dozens of individual examples brought to my attention. One said uh, last year the insurance was €540. Euro. For the renewal this year, the insurer has quoted €880, euro, so an increase of €340. Euro. Another person told me their premium has increased by 70 per cent despite a full no claims record uh, being present. And as I said earlier, the typical increase seems to be a, a, of the order uh, of two to €300. Euro. Now, I fully acknowledge the fact, Minister, that there are multiple reasons behind uh, the level of increase that we're witnessing in motor insurance premiums, uh, including the issue of false claims, fraudulent claims, exaggerated claims, and that needs to be dealt with. And where people do that, they need to be punished. And I'm not sure we're going far enough at the moment, but I welcome the fact that some cases uh, have been brought before the courts uh, in that regard. We had the, the collapse of Satanta insurance uh, over two years ago, and the fallout from that is still being played out in the courts. It's going to the Supreme Court now because the Motor Insurance Bureau of Ireland uh, is not accepting the High Court decision and essentially we have the Insurance Compensation Fund and the Motor Insurance Bureau of Ireland at each other's throats. And who's losing out in that case? The 70,000 uh, Satanta customers and the, the thousands of Satanta customers who have outstanding claims in the system. And that's a measure, Minister, of a dysfunctional approach to the insurance market uh, which needs to be dealt with. So we need greater clarity brought to the respective role of those two bodies as well. Uh, I have discovered through uh, a parliamentary reply that the enforcement division of the central bank which is responsible for the supervising the insurance sector, has a staff vacancy rate of 25 per cent. Now, that also needs to be addressed uh, uh, as a matter of urgency, Minister. Uh, the role of the Injuries Board, uh, which has been really successful and has dealt with about 100,000 cases since its inception back in 2004, it needs to be reviewed. Even the industry, the motor industry themselves, will acknowledge uh, that there are tweaks, there are improvements that can be made uh, to that particular system, though it has, as I said, worked well. I acknowledge that there was underpricing in the motor insurance market for a number of years, and now we're seeing the fallout from that. We had the collapse of Quinn Insurance, uh, and every motor insurance holder and general insurance policy holder is paying a 2% levy uh, in relation to that uh, and will be doing for probably another 12 to 15 years on every single policy that they are renewing each year. Uh, the RSA has had significant problems as well. So what consumers want, Minister, is action to deal with this. You have taken some action, but in my view it isn't sufficient action. A Department of Finance-led review is not the way to go. We need an independent body, an independent task force, which in my view we don't need to reinvent the wheel. We had a very successful Motor Insurance Advisory Board and it should be reconstituted as a matter of urgency. And it should essentially be given the task of identifying the underlying reasons behind the spiralling cost of motor insurance in this country. You know, we can debate across the floor of the House what those reasons are, but let's get the data. 
We urgently need a national claims register. Before you came in uh, to the chamber, I pointed out that in the region of 80% of all claims uh, are now settled without any public record being kept through the injuries board or through the judicial process. So we're in the dark. So when the, when the industry tells us that it's all about claims, the cost of claims and, and the number of claims, we cannot independently validate that and deal with it. So we need a task force minister as a priority to get to the bottom of what is causing the rate of increase in motor insurance premiums and to make recommendations then uh, for dealing with that, which I'm sure this House uh, would not be slow in acceding to, because the present situation is not tenable. The forecasts are for further increases of 25 to 30 per cent in the next 12 months. We've got to deal with this, and the Fianna Fáil motion uh, is intended to be positive, constructive, uh, and to chart a way forward for dealing with what is a really important issue for families and businesses throughout the length and breadth of this country. Thank you very much.